This is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. As the battle for the culture continues, some of us need to look harder at ourselves and what we're doing, the choices we're making. Now, I'm not here to impose blame on anyone. In fact, I'm looking at myself here. We have to look at some of the things we're watching, the entertainment we're exposed to. It seems we cannot watch TV today without watching some kind of leftist agenda. And look at some of these actors on these shows and these movies we're watching. They're liberal, hypersexualized, anti-life, anti-God, propagating these businesses like this abortion business behind me. And a lot of the programs we're watching are simply dumb and have no real edifying content. So we have to stop supporting the networks and the platforms that give us this stuff. And this becomes a more serious consideration when we look at what our kids are exposed to. Look at the shows they're watching. They're rebellious. They're perverse. There's a lot of gender zaniness, zaniness in them. Again, lacking a real substantial message or anything wholesome. And what about the games our children are playing today? Online, these games which are often violent or hypersexualized. I think they're causing substantial damage. I think it's hurting children so much that their thought processes, their moral processes, their control of will, that is, their ability to relate is being damaged. And so we have to seriously limit or remove some of these things altogether. You know, at the very least, all of these things cause a lack of moral awareness and virtuous acting. They affect us, they really do. Our children and in us, adults. They stun our abilities to reason, they stun us in our discernments. And so we have to think about the one, two, or three things we need to remove from our lives. I think if we do so, we'll find ourselves thinking more clearly, we'll have better impulse control, we'll spend more time with others, our lives will change for the better. And in this way, we can have a better effect on the world around us. God be with you.